Drive Away Dolls is a, is it Ethan Cohen that did this one? I think it's Ethan Cohen. Yes, Ethan Cohen. Directed by Ethan Cohen movie. Um, came out earlier this year. Um, also stars, um, well, it doesn't show me the actors. Um, so I couldn't tell you the actors' names. Um, there are actors that make small appearances in this movie, basically cameos, um, that you would know, but I'm not going to spoil them for you. But, uh, this is a movie that is very strange. Um, and not in a normal Coen Brothers way. This is just a really strange movie. The plot, I'm just going to read this because I don't even know how to do it. Uh, Jamie and Marion go on an impromptu road trip to Tallahassee, but things go awry when they cross paths with a group of criminals. Does that sound like a, a storyline you've heard before? It's because it's one you've seen a hundred thousand times. Um... Yeah, first of all, the story is just kind of cliche in this. It's just a road trip. Criminals have gotten involved. They didn't realize that they were involved, but they they kind of, they kind of got involved. Um, I like this movie in the sense that it is um, that the two main characters are lesbians. Um, so it's cool that we have like this lesbian road trip movie. Um, there are things though that they do in this movie that I'm like, you guys are adults and you're doing high schooler type stuff that doesn't make sense to me. Um, so it doesn't quite handle it well in my opinion, but it's great to see, um, you know, movies led by, by gay characters. I, I think that's great. Um, this movie is supposed to be a comedy. There's definitely some comedic moments. I don't think as much as it would like me to think there are um i think the actors in this movie do fine jobs um there's some weird cameos that i'm like i don't understand this or get it but okay um this movie is also very inappropriate i did not expect to be as uh, inappropriate as it was but um don't watch this one with your parents there is a lot of dildos in this movie. There is a lot of, um, well, just a lot of stuff in this movie. Um, I just was not expecting it, I guess. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a movie. Um, I saw it. It's on, what did I watch this? Peacock. It's on Peacock. It was fine. Um, I'm never going to watch it again. I'm already forgetting, like, everything that happened in it. It is enjoyable enough. Um, like I said, I didn't really laugh that much in it. Um, I, I wouldn't say it's a good comedy. What is it called? Is it a comedy comedy caper? That's what it's called. Okay. Yeah, and, and it was fine. It's an hour and 24 minutes, and it feels like two hours. Um, it feels a lot longer than it is. It's only an 80-minute movie, essentially, with credits. And I felt like it was two hours. It felt so long. Um just kind of wanted it to end by the end of it because it just gets so out there and weird and kind of dumb that I was just like, all right, I'm ready for this to be done. Let's be done. Um, so yeah, the direction of this isn't that great from Ethan Cohen. Um, maybe they should do movies together still. Separate, this one didn't work for me. Um, I don't got much else to say about this one. It's just kind of an eh road trip movie. Um, cool that it is, you know, female-led by, by lesbians. That's great. Um, my beard is too long right there. i trim it. Anyways, see you guys, I am more focused on my beard than the actual movie. I'm also tired. Can you tell? I'm always tired lately. Um, yeah. What else can I say about this movie? I mean, it's just fine. It's... It's fine. It's the definition of fine. It's adequately made, but it's fine. Um, and that's not what you want to hear from a movie. You want to hear, it's really good, or at least it's good. This is just fine. Um, again, I'll never watch it again, though. So that shows you something right there. When you don't ever want to watch it again, that's a problem. Even if it's a fine movie and you still watch it once every 10 years, at least you're watching it but I have no plans to ever watch this. If this is playing at someone's house, I don't know if I would sit down and watch it unless they were like, Cody, watch this movie with me. And I'm like, eh, I'll fall asleep during it, but okay. That's about what this movie is. Um, so yeah, 
What am I going to give this movie? I'm going to go 4 out of 10 on this one. It's There's not much to talk about with it. It's just kind of there. There's some weird, trippy moments that make no sense with a cameo from someone that I was not expecting that I didn't even know who it was at first. I had to look it up. Um, and then, yeah, there's other cameos that just happen. I'm just like, why? I just, ugh. Yeah, that's Driveway Dolls for you. I don't got much else to say about this one. Um, so, yeah, 4 out of 10 for me on this one, guys. Um, so, yeah, tell me what you thought. What did you think of this one? Did you enjoy this one? Or, you know... Did you think it was eh? Or did you think it was absolute crap? Let me know. Um, you guys have yourself a great night. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. And we will see you next time.